Legend tells of an ancient mythical creature. A creature so fabulous that everything he touches turns to rainbows. And hi everyone, my name is Stormy the Fulf, and today I want to talk some more about different types of personas. But before I begin, super special thanks to Shande for really, really helping me produce this video. He is the fabulous Foxo you just saw. Anyway, a couple of months ago, I posted a video about uncommon species of personas, and in that video, I briefly mentioned mythical creatures. There are so many mythical creatures stemming from all kinds of cultures and regions of the world. They have become popular choices for personas within the furry fandom. So today, I'd like to talk about some of the more popular species that are chosen as personas. So a quick note about this video. I won't be focusing too much on original species. That'll be a whole different video on its own. Also, I already made a video on original species, which you can check out up above. But for this video, I'm only going to be talking about mythical creatures found through historic lore. Additionally, there are literally hundreds of mythical creatures out there, so I'm only going to focus on a few that are commonly found within the fandom, or else we'd be here for like 10 years or something, at least. So, let's begin. Dragons. Hands down, the most popular mythical creature persona is a dragon. In fact, according to the International Anthropomorphic Research Project, they are the sixth most popular persona species in the entire fandom. Dragons have been around for centuries and are revered in several different cultures, especially China. There are two main styles of dragons in ancient folklore, Eastern and Western. Western dragons are the more common in the fandom. These are fire-breathing, winged dragons that you would usually find in fantasy. However, there are a few number of eastern dragon personas as well. These are long, wingless, serpentine dragons that are commonly worshipped in Chinese culture. Honestly, I could make a whole video about dragons, and who knows, maybe I will someday. Kitsunes, and if I pronounce that wrong, so help me God. <laughs> Kitsunes are a mythical creature from Japanese culture. Kitsune is the Japanese word for fox. However, the creature itself is the stuff of legend in Japan. Kitsunes are said to have paranormal superpowers and can grow as many as nine tails. One of their most profound abilities is that Kitsunes are said to be able to shapeshift into humans. Now, as far as personas go, Kitsunes are a popular persona choice due to the popularity that foxes have in the fandom. There are a lot of characters in pop culture that can provide a good amount of inspiration for personas. Some of these characters include Vulpix and Ninetales from Pokemon, the Kitsune spirit from Naruto, and my personal favorite, Tales from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. When it comes to fursuits, they usually stay within the three to six tail range. However, some people go whole hog and put the entire nine tails on their suit. Unicorns. Unicorns are possibly one of the oldest mythical creatures in existence, dating back all the way to Indus River Valley civilization. Unicorns are mystical horses with one single pointed horn protruding from the forehead. In mythology, they are described as creatures of purity. They are very common in pop culture, making notable appearances in Harry Potter, My Little Pony, The Chronicles of Narnia, and more. Within the fandom, unicorns aren't quite as popular as personas in and of themselves. However, they are used in hybrid personas from time to time. Unicorn characters are more often utilized within the My Little Pony fandom. Now, as far as fursuits go, there are a few notable unicorn suits out there such as Quartz Husky's friend and the Beast Cub's suit, Isabel. There are also several cosplay suits of the various unicorns within the My Little Pony franchise. Pegasus. Pegasus is one of the most recognized creatures in Greek mythology, being depicted as a pure white horse with wings. Now, according to legend, Pegasus was born from the blood of Medusa after she was slain by Perseus. Throughout history, Pegasus has been used as a symbol of wisdom and fame, and has become its own species of winged horses within pop culture. Much like unicorns, Pegasi are more commonly found within the My Little Pony fandom, but they are present within the furry fandom as well. With fursuits, I was really only able to find one or two that weren't My Little Pony cosplay suits. Pegasi seem to be less common than unicorns within the fandom. I really hope we see more of them in the future. We gotta fix that. Phoenix. No, not that phoenix. The phoenix is another creature from Greek mythology. They are described as legendary birds that burst into flame when they die, and then are reborn from their ashes. They are usually very brightly colored 
using lots of reds, yellows, and oranges. Within the fandom, phoenixes are seldom found as personas themselves. In fact, people more often name their persona after the mythical bird. There's even an entire fursuit making business named after the phoenix. And while I was able to find a couple of examples of phoenix personas and fursuits, I still think that they are criminally underused, and I really hope to see more of them in the future. Hydra. Hydras are depicted as serpent-like creatures with many heads. They kind of scare me to be honest, but not in a bad way. They stem from ancient Greek and Roman mythology. One of the most famous accounts of the Hydra is in the story of Hercules, where it is described as having an amazing power. If one of its heads was like cut off, it would grow two more in its place, and there was no limit to how many heads it could regrow. Hydras are another highly underused species. In fact, I searched quite a bit and I wasn't able to find a single fursuit of a Hydra. So if you have, please let me know in the comments. I found a couple Hydra characters, but there definitely should be more out there. And I hope to one day see a multi-headed Hydra fursuit out there someday. Griffin. Griffins are creatures that originated around ancient Egyptian and Persian mythology. They are described as half horse, half eagle, and are known as guardians of treasure and other valuable items. They also have a kind of subspecies called hippogriffs, which are a mix of griffins and mares. Out of everything on this list, griffins are one of the more common mythical creature personas found within the fandom. According to a study done by IARP, they are the second most popular mythical fursona species in the fandom. I think griffins are so popular because there's just so much room for interpretation when it comes to their design. So people are free to let their creativity flow and their imagination run wild when it comes to designing a griffin fursona. Chimera. Not to be confused with the actual animal genus called chimeras. The origin of the chimera comes from Greek mythology where it is described as a two-headed creature, basically a lion and a goat, with a snake as a tail. Kind of strange, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Nowadays, chimeras are described as creatures made of several different animals, like some kind of super hybrid. Popular chimera-like creatures include manticores, which have the head of a lion, the wings of a dragon, and the tail of a scorpion, and kirin, which can take features from unicorns, Chinese dragons, and even lions. The character Discord from My Little Pony, while being officially called a word I can't read, Draconicus, can be described as a chimera. And that is the third My Little Pony reference I've made in this video. Shande, this is what I get for letting you write the script. Anyway, chimeras can make for very interesting and unique personas because you can put just about any kind of animal together and make a chimera-like creature. Paranormal creatures. These can include a very wide range of various creatures, including ghosts, demons, poltergeists, cryptids, monsters, aliens, and I could go on and on. Creatures like this have been around seemingly since the dawn of time itself, and the fandom has been able to take the concept of these beings and morph them into some crazy awesome personas. With such a wide range of these types of creatures, the sky is really the limit. In honesty, if you want, you can call just about any creature you create a ghost or a demon. Now there are some other species in this section that are more specific. Monsters and aliens have a lot of room for imagination. Several people have even taken the concept and spun it into their own original species. Wendigos actually come from North American folklore and are said to be human-eating monsters that roam the Great Lakes region of the United States and parts of Canada. However, there are a handful of personas and fursuits depicting these creatures within the fandom. Werewolf. This is one of the furry fandom's most favorite mythical creatures. Originating within European mythology, werewolves are humans that transform into bipedal wolf creatures under the light of a full moon. Werewolves have been highly popularized in modern day pop culture, making famous appearances in things like Harry Potter, Twilight, and Doctor Who. Inside the fandom, Werewolves can be depicted in a number of ways, but most commonly, they are either the fursona species itself or an ability that a wolf fursona can have, with the character turning into a werewolf. Werewolves are a fairly common sight in the fandom. I might even be so bold to say that there's a slight obsession with them in the fandom, but cheer up! There are certainly a bona fide treasure trove of different species to choose from when it comes to picking a fursona. 
Heck, the species you want doesn't even have to really exist. But mythical creatures like this surely do make an interesting and unique choice for a persona. So if you're currently trying to make your own character, don't be afraid to consider creatures like these. And a big shout out and thank you to Shonday Thompson for writing a majority of this script. You have saved my butt so many times, boy. Check out his channel linked in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys come across any of the species that I've mentioned that we didn't have too many of within the fandom, please, 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 please link it to me in the comments below. Um, make sure to like the video if, of course, if you liked it. Maybe leave a comment, share it with the other furry friendos, and of course, subscribe. And ring the bell thingamabob. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>